if you're addicted to lesson planners. <laughs> I don't know what it is about a teacher's lesson plan. There's so much hope and enthusiasm and joy for learning. For me, the reason I love teacher's lesson plans is because it makes me feel like a real teacher. <laughs> Let's chat about planners. By the end of this video, I'm going to have shown you a few um, that different types of styles, just like glimpses of them. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to share with you this, the way that I did lesson planners most of the time throughout my entire homeschool career. So number one, inside homeschooling with secret sauce, let me share that page. And I forgot to actually show the screen ahead of time. Inside homeschooling with secret sauce, there is a build your own lesson plan. So follow the link in the video, and then you're going to scroll down into, um, oh, da, 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 lesson planning planners and more. This is where you'll find the video where I talked about um, how to do a lesson plan map using post-it notes. But in there, there's also this build your own homeschool planner. And inside, anytime there's anything inside of Secret Sauce, you can see the, this shows you the different pages. But you scroll to the bottom and you look for this little uh, paperclip thing. And that's where you click. And that's how you access. So these are pages that you can build your own homeschool planner. Just a simple layout of important notes, things to remember, goals, monthly calendar, that kind of stuff. Lesson planners, they are as different as you ask 12 homeschoolers, what's their favorite homeschool planner? And I can almost guarantee that you're going to get 15 different answers. Homeschool planners, um, they need to speak to your soul because they need to be filled with hope and enthusiasm and joy, right? And we want to feel like real teachers because we are real teachers. And so I'm going to show you some of the ones that I've collected. Uh, one of the things that I do for homeschool moms is I collect resources, either ones that I've used personally or ones that I wish I had used personally. So let's go ahead to my website, A Better Way to Homeschool. And let me make sure that the spot is right. And it is, so let's go there. So if you look over at the link, Again, there's a second link inside the video. These are free printable homeschool planner and schedules. And there's all kinds in there. There's the build your own, which is included inside homeschooling with secret sauce. There is this beautiful planner that has different kinds of um, just designs on them. And you will see that every time you click through and you find a homeschool planner, um, it may be the colors that draw you in. It may be the, the little clip art that draws you in. It may be just the layout of the way that the pages are. One of my favorites was this one um, from Anna at They Call Me Blessed. And you can cherry pick the pages from and take it to your local print shop and have it spiral bound. There's something about a spiral bound planner that just, oh, I just love it. Um, I love all of the simple, the simple home homeschool planners that you can get out there. So there's there are quite a few out there on that website for you to choose from. But when it comes down to the homeschool planner, the thing to remember is that you need to always write in pencil because plans change. My very favorite way to use a homeschool planner was, especially as I got older and grayer, is I used my planner as a reverse planner or a way to collect what the kids and I were actually studying. So when you looked through my old planners, it wasn't that we wanted to study about percentages, it would be that we did study about percentages that day. So I used my lesson planner as kind of a unofficial record keeping, and I rec recommend that you do the same. And it's super simple, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, it could just be a spiral bound notebook the 59 cent kind that you can get from Walmart. However, one of the things that I learned along the way is that the higher the quality of the materials that you use, the more likely it is that you're going to touch it again. So if you're going to just do a very simple reverse planner, get a nice journal like from Barnes and Noble or 
Amazon, something that has, this is not a planner, but something that has a nice spiral bound to it or that it lays flat so that um, it just, it, it's easy to use. I love to test things based on the feel of the pages or the colors. So lesson planning can be super overwhelming, um, but using the right materials for you that draw you in will allow you to not only feel like a real teacher, but be a real teacher. And the cool thing about homeschool planners is that you can include things like this person's in charge of feeding the dog. Um, this is, these are the errands that we're going to run that day. Here's the Bible verse for the week or whatever. So it, they'll have spaces for life because remember homeschooling is not just academics. So I would love to hear what your favorite homeschool planners are. If there's a link to it, drop it below so that we can kind of glean from each other. Um, do you make your own planners? Do you buy your own planners? Do you use a reverse planner? Like what is your process? And then the last thing is it's okay if what you did last year doesn't fit you anymore. Every single year I used my planners differently. And I would always go and I would look for a new one to give me, because I was always looking for the inspiration, you know, the, the beautiful artwork around the page. I'm a very visual person. So I needed the pretty artwork or the places to doodle, the places to capture my ideas and what we were actually doing. Um, but planners are personal. I would love to see what your favorite planners are. If you make them, you have permission to drop the links below. And I think that's it. Happy planning. Um, th this doesn't make or break your homeschool career. You don't have to have a lesson planner to homeschool, but it does help to be able to pencil in where you're headed in your homeschool year or like me to capture what you're doing with your kids so that when grandma or the local whoever is asking you, what did you do this week in homeschool? You have a record of what it is that you're doing. Anyway, that's it. Becky with A Better Way to Homeschool. Have a great day.